Hi, this is Pamela Raymond Schneider. I'm the retail editor for Blue Book Services. This is Produce with Pamela. I have Greg Johnson, the director of media development for Blue Book Services here with me. And we're gonna talk bananas, obviously, right? Yeah, uh, that's a good getup. Uh, I assume you wore that when you presented at the uh, World Banana Forum in Montreal recently, is that right? You know what, I actually forgot it at home and it was a really a missed opportunity in, uh, in my opinion. Um, but I, I really enjoyed having the chance to talk to, I was there in a small group for the sustainability working group and we were there to talk about retail banana prices. And uh, I felt like I painted a pretty bleak picture for some of these folks on what's going on with banana prices because we've seen, you know, over the years, bananas are typically the cheapest thing in the produce department and they continue to be the cheapest thing in the produce department. Um, but is that an effective marketing strategy going forward? Um, what's going on with millennials and bananas? Are millennials killing bananas? Is that yeah, that what you're yeah, right? You know, I, I did bring that up, and I thought that my presentation should have been: Are millennials going to kill bananas? Um, similar to what they've done, or at least in the headlines for um, the napkins and diamonds and macro beer, um, they don't really have a great sustainability message to put forward to millennials, and uh, some of them are paying attention. Yeah, uh, bananas are caught in a weird spot, and you know, I know, I know you want to present as if millennials can kill the banana category, like they are starting to do with some other things, such as napkins and straws. Um, I would say um, it's the very beginning, and they also might even change their minds as they get older. Like one of the things I remember about bananas is when you and I presented some millennial trends last year. I talked to Bill Goldfield at Dole and ask him if he's concerned about, uh, you know, millennials not embracing bananas. And he said, most people in bananas expect uh, millennials will simply grow up. They'll start eating healthier. They'll have to start feeding their kids. And that's where bananas fit in perfectly. Well, yeah, definitely. Um, some of the things I talked about with this group were cases where um, bananas aren't the lowest price thing, but they are a really great trade up. Um, places like the airport, um, you, you can pay a dollar, you can pay $1.50 per banana, in, or even at Starbucks, um, kind of a millennial hangout there. Um, they're willing to trade into bananas and see them as a great option for snacking on the go. So I'm not entirely sure millennials are going to kill bananas so far. Um, but it, we do really need to talk about uh, the pricing on them because, you know, it, it is something that retailers have you know, kind of hung their hat on being the cheapest in bananas because they felt like that affected their overall price perception for their whole store. Um, but I really don't think that's something that we need to worry about going forward. Um, it's not worth the margin. Um, I talked to a couple of retailers who had lowered their prices in the fallout of uh, Amazon and Whole Foods last year, and most of them had gone back up um, in price. Just it's a couple of cents, but you know, when we're talking about the tonnage we're talking about, it's a big deal in, in uh, retail to talk about you know, a 69 cents a pound versus 57 cents a pound for uh, conventional or organic, depending on uh, your price perception. <clears throat> well, I agree with you about bananas uh, not being, not needing to be the price leader that they used to be a generation or two ago. You know, our generation, um, we don't really pay attention to bananas being the lowest in the store. And if you look at, you know, the rise of the Aldi's and Walmart's of the world, their rise is on price, but it's not on price of specific things. It's on overall price. And I think that's where uh, retailers can realize, uh, you know, bananas are part of a big department and even store. And the overall price does matter to consumers of everything, the whole basket. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll see how this uh, shakes out over the, the next couple of months as we see how volume and pricing comes out at the end of the year. All right, thanks, Greg. Again, this is Pamela Riemann-Schneider. I'm the retail editor for Blue Book Services, and this has been Produce with Pamela.